In this video, you're going to learn how you can increase conversions and engagement on your website using Google Optimize. We'll walk through exactly how you can get your tests up and running, the types of tests you can run, and the best practice techniques for using Google Optimize. Google Optimize allows you to run different types of tests. These include A-B tests, where we have our original page and then create a new variation to try and outperform the original. A-B tests are a great starting point. If you're beginning with testing, A-B tests are suited to low traffic websites and pages, if you have a lower conversion rate, or if you're trying to test very different ideas on your website. Google Optimize also allows you to run multivariant tests, which are ideal for high traffic pages if you're testing multiple elements within a page or for refining your ideas. For example, if you run a successful A-B test, then you can follow this with a multivariant test to make further improvements. With a multivariant test, you're actually modifying different elements within a single page and comparing those different changes all at once. For example, if we test an original button with two variants and original content with two variants, this would mean we'd have a total of nine variations that we're testing inside Google Optimize. Since there are more variations, they do take longer to achieve a measurable outcome. So if you are just getting started, I would recommend beginning with an A-B test. Google Optimize also allows you to run redirect tests. For example, if you've already created a new variation or have an alternate page you'd like to test against, you can redirect a portion of traffic from one page to the test page to see the results of that change. As you start testing using Google Optimize, it's a great idea to look for your top landing pages. So look for pages that have a high number of page views, pages where you're spending a lot in terms of advertising budget, or pages that are important for conversions. And of course, you can make use of Google Analytics to help identify these pages to test. You can test a range of different elements on your website. I recommend beginning with the elements that you feel will have the biggest impact on the conversions or improvement you're trying to achieve using Google Optimize. In order to run an experiment using Google Optimize, there's a number of steps we'll need to travel through. First off, you need to set up your Google Optimize account. We'll then need to link Optimize to Google Analytics, install the Optimize tag on our website. We'll need to add the Chrome browser extension, create the variant for our experiment, and then we'll need to launch our experiment. Let's start by creating our Google Optimize account. Now I suggest linking to Google Analytics. So click on Link Property and then select the appropriate property from the dropdown and click Link. Now we need to install the Optimize tag on our website. There are two ways to do this. One option is to modify your Google Analytics tracking code to add in the additional snippet. As we can see here, this is Google's recommendation. Alternatively, you can implement Google Optimize using Google Tag Manager. You can find details in the description below this video. We're going to use Google's recommendation. So we're going to implement the modified Google Analytics tracking code on our website. Since we're already using Google Tag Manager for tracking the page views and other interactions on our website, we will need to modify this code slightly so we're not sending extra page views to Google Analytics. This is done by modifying the tag for use with Google Optimize so that it doesn't send the extra page view. It's also recommended that we use the page hiding snippet, which basically means that we won't see any page flicker when people load the page we're testing. Again, you'll find extra resources below the video. Now we need to add the Google Optimize extension to Chrome. This allows you to make the changes that you're going to test to your website. So we can head to the Chrome Web Store and add the Google Optimize extension. Now that we've done this, we can create our experiment inside Google Optimize. I need to name my experiment, so a brief description of the test we're performing. Then we need to enter in the URL of the page we're going to test on our website. You can see that we can select the type of experiment we want to run. We can run an A-B test, a multivariant test, or a redirect test. 
Again, I recommend if you're just getting started going with an A-B test. This is the simplest way to run an optimization test on your website. It means that we run one variant against our original page and our test is more likely to run quickly. Now I click on Create. Now I add the variant and name it. So this should be a short description of the change we'll be making on the page and then click Add. Now we can see that I have made zero changes. I'm going to click on my variant to then load up my website and make the modifications to the page. Since I have the browser extension installed, I can make the changes to my page and it has a WYSIWYG editor, so I can drag and drop and edit the different components. I can just click on Edit and then I can edit the text. When I'm happy with the changes, I can save them. Now that I've created my variant, I can select the objective. So I can select from the different objectives. For example, if I do have a goal set up inside Google Analytics, I can select that goal as my objective. So I'm aiming to improve the performance of my conversions and conversion rate for that goal. I can also put in a short description and hypothesis explaining what I expect the results to be from my particular experiment. And once I'm happy, I can click on Save. Now I can click on Start Experiment and this will now mean that my experiment has launched and people will now be included in this experiment as they access the page on my website. Now that the experiment is running we can head to the Reporting tab and once we have enough data we'll see the results reported right within Google Optimize. Just to highlight you'll also find data from your Google Optimize experiments inside your linked Google Analytics views. So that's how you can use Google Optimize. Tell me how you're using Google Optimize. Let me know and leave your tips in the comments below. And if you thought this video was helpful, then please subscribe, share it with your friends, and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.